The intriguing life that Billy the Kid led and the mythical deeds that he accomplished continue to captivate our imaginations. Billy the Kid was a notorious gunman in the Wild West. In addition to being one of the most notorious figures in the annals of American history, he has also left an unmistakable effect on the time period known as the frontier. From Billy the Kid's shadowy beginnings to his daring exploits, this video delves into the world of the enigmatic outlaw known as Billy the Kid, revealing 10 amazing facts about his life along the way. Number 10. Orphaned Teenager Very little information is available regarding the early years of Billy the Kid's existence. However, it is most likely that he was born under the name Henry McCarty in the destitute Irish slums of New York City during the latter half of the year, 1859. He was brought up by his mother alone, and when he was a little kid, his family moved to Wichita, Kansas. Years later, in the early 1870s, he made the journey west to New Mexico. Henry was able to make a speedy adjustment to the rigorous lifestyle of the area and quickly became fluent in the Spanish language. Unfortunately, his fragile mother passed away from tuberculosis in the year 1874, turning him into an orphan at the early age of 15. Henry spent the next year moving about from foster homes and boarding places because his stepfather was rarely around. Not long after that, he became involved with a questionable gang and soon after began to steal and indulge in other acts of petty criminality. Number 9. Initial Detention and Fledgling Attempts at the age of 16, Billy the Kid was taken into custody for the first time in 1875 for stealing food. After 10 days, he teamed up with a neighborhood thug named Sombrero Jack to steal clothing from a Chinese laundromat. The young man quickly decided to get away by climbing via the chimney, despite the violation carrying a very low penalty. He ran from the New Mexico Territory into the adjacent Arizona Territory, where he became a lawbreaker and evaded capture by the federal government. He used a Winchester rifle and a Colt revolver to develop his talents throughout the years. During a fight that took place in a tavern in Arizona in August of 1877, he shot and killed his first man. As a result of this occurrence, he began to refer to himself as William H. Bonney, but others knew him better than Billy the Kid. Number 8. Battle of Lincoln. In 1878, when he was involved in a violent border conflict in Lincoln County, New Mexico, Billy the Kid initially rose to fame as a gunman. This was the beginning of his rise to popularity. The conflict stemmed from a competitive economic relationship between English rancher John Tunstall and two Irish tycoons named James Dolan and Lawrence Murphy, also known as the House. During the subsequent battle, which became known as the Lincoln County War, the Regulators were responsible for the assassination of Sheriff Brady and engaged in skirmishes with the forces of the House that lasted for a number of months. The pivotal moment arrived in July of 1878 when a fierce five-day gun battle erupted in Lincoln. Number 7. Engaging in Illicit Activity In contrast to other infamous outlaws of the Old West such as Jesse James, Cole Younger and Butch Cassidy, Billy the Kid did not commit robberies for a living. Although the young gunman occasionally stole horses, he never carried out robberies in banks, railways, or carriages. Apart from engaging in gunfights as a member of the Regulators, his primary criminal activity involved cattle rustling across the expansive plains of New Mexico. This was his primary illegal activity. Number 6. Involved in several killings. Billy the Kid was known for his laid-back demeanor, yet he would not hesitate to pull a gun on his opponents when he felt threatened. From 1877 to 1881, the outlaw was responsible for the shooting deaths of around 10 individuals, at least four of whom he did not share responsibility for with anybody else. In January of 1880, there was a notable shootout that took place in a saloon in the state of New Mexico. In a swift and audacious maneuver, he was able to disarm a possible attacker, demonstrating his proficiency with weaponry. This is how the story goes. Number 5. A Courageous Evasion At the end of 1880, Sheriff Pat Garrett successfully tracked the outlaw Billy the Kid to a log cabin near Stinking Springs, New Mexico, where he coerced the criminal to turn himself in. He was placed behind bars at the Lincoln County Courthouse after being found guilty of the murder of Sheriff William Brady. Nevertheless, he was successful in his daring escape attempt, 
during which he overpowered the security personnel and made a dramatic exit. The fact that he was able to flee further cemented his reputation as a mysterious and bold figure. Number 4. The End of One's Youth At the time of his death, Billy the Kid had only just turned 21 years old. After he had gotten away, he went looking for safety in Fort Sumner, which is located in New Mexico. After becoming aware of his whereabouts, Pat Garrett went to the home of a friend with the goal of inquiring there about the location of the child. Coincidentally, Billy the Kid entered the room at the same time, and the two recognized each other's voices. This led to a conflict, culminating in the young gunslinger being killed. Number 3. The Contentious Conclusion Over the course of time, stories began to spread, indicating that Pat Garrett may have shot the wrong person, or plotted to orchestrate Billy the Kid's death. Some believed that Garrett was responsible for both of these events. In the late 1940s, an elderly Texan appeared, claiming to be Billy the Kid, which raised doubts about the official account's accuracy. Investigations that took place afterwards suggested various ideas, such as the idea that Kid might have been hiding his identity by using a pseudonym. Number 2. The Film Industry's Inheritance The passing of Billy the Kid didn't mark the end of his influence. Rather, it marked the beginning of a new chapter in his legacy within the film industry. The portrayal of his captivating story commenced with the release of the silent film Billy the Kid in 1911, which served as the initial spark that ignited a cinematic trend, propelling the kid's tale onto the silver screen more than 30 times. As a result, the kid's image and legend became deeply ingrained in popular culture. The film industry played a significant role in immortalizing Billy the Kid's story. The allure of the Wild West filled with cowboys, outlaws, and gunfights, provided a perfect backdrop for his captivating narrative. Many renowned actors have stepped into the shoes of Billy the Kid, breathing life into his legend through their performances. The Kid's journey from a young, orphaned teenager to a gun-toting outlaw with a daring and audacious spirit has captivated generations. Hollywood seized the opportunity to capitalize on this fascination, bringing his story to life in various ways. Number 1. The Phobia of Just One Man Billy the Kid had only one person he feared, and that was one of his own gang members named Dave Rudabaugh. Rudabaugh's notoriety preceded him due to the tumultuous nature of his fury and the lightning-fast shooting talents he possessed. Rudabaugh's unpredictable attitude made him someone who should be avoided at all costs, in contrast to Kid, who had a reputation for being laid back and easygoing. Billy the Kid's life was filled with acts of violence, boldness, and escapades that have continued to capture people's imaginations for years. His life is a living witness to the appeal of the Wild West, beginning with his early years as an orphaned youngster and continuing on through his participation in the Lincoln County War and his daring escapes. Even though some details of Billy the Kid's life and death are shrouded in mystery, his legacy as a renowned gunslinger lives on in films, novels, and the everlasting fascination of people who are interested in the unsolved mysteries of the frontier era. What do you think of the video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.